Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to a very special episode here on Blowout Gaming. Now, we are enjoying the Fear Evolve 4 event, as you can see, and I thought it would be really fun to do our kibble farming episodes during this Halloween. Now, today's episode is starting off with the basic kibble. Now, this kibble is as basic as it gets, and all kibble is made up of various food ingredients, but the main ingredient is going to be dino eggs, and the size of your dino egg will dictate the quality of the kibble that you are trying to make. Our basic kibble recipe starts off with extra small eggs. Now, over here on Crystal Isles, guys, I thought it would be a lot of fun to show you exactly where I recommend setting up for a quick and easy kibble farm. Now, I love this crystal waterways area down here on the beach because it is the perfect area to set up for our first few kibble recipes. And as you can see, I have our beginner thatch hut already set up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, we start off by taming up a bunch of dodos, a bunch of lystros, parasaurs, tech parasaurs if we can find them and then some dilos as well so as you can see we have the house set up for essentials i have the campfire set up to cook our meat we have the boxes set up for our fiber we have the preserving bin set up full of our berries and our cooked meat and our eggs and as you can see our tames out here are dropping eggs all over the place. So we have Lystros dropping eggs, Parasaurs are dropping eggs, the Tech Parasaurs are dropping eggs, and for some reason, the Parasaur and Tech Parasaur is considered an extra small egg. I'm guessing that's because of the ease in which it takes to get a Parasaur tamed is really not that difficult at all. You just need a Bola and a club. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves some basic kibble. Now I have two cooking pots set up for us to make this kibble. So let's go ahead and start off by jumping on our extra Parasaur outside for some berry collection. So as you can see guys, I went ahead and tamed up a couple of extra Parasaurs that were sitting out front. Well, I went ahead and kept a nice high level Parasaur so that I could go ahead and collect berries easily. You can certainly pick berries by hand, but you are going to need Mejo Berries, Tinto Berries, and Amur Berries for this recipe. So let's go ahead and collect up these berries and get back to base. So let's go ahead and grab these berries off. And then we already grabbed our eggs, but let's go ahead and see if they've laid any more. Yep, they have. So you can see, guys, this is the best way to do it. If you have a few different females going, guys, this is a really, really easy process to collect up eggs. You can see they are dropping eggs like crazy. So I have a bunch of eggs here in my inventory. Let's go ahead and grab out some of this meat that I've been cooking up. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab that out. Perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw all of this into our cooking pot. We have our Tinto berries, we have our Amur berries, we have our Mejo berries, we have our fiber, and we have our cooked meat. Now, last but not least, guys, we are missing our water to complete this recipe. So there's another reason that I went ahead and made it right here on the edge of the beach, because we do need to be able to fill up these water skins quickly and efficiently. So here we go, guys. Without further delay, let's go ahead and throw in our water skins and make up our first batch of basic kibble. Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, the cooking pot is a little bit small. The best way to do this is going to be with the industrial cooker. But like I said, this is the simple, easy way to get started with basic kibble. There's no reason why you guys would be making basic kibble with an industrial cooking pot. That doesn't really make any sense. By the time we get up to the industrial cooking pot, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make much more advanced kibbles. So this is the best way to get started right away. So let's oh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so embarrassing. I'm sitting here, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? I forgot the most important ingredient, the extra small eggs. So you can see I have a few of them here. Let's go ahead and throw in some Parasaur eggs in this one. And then let's go ahead and throw in some Dodo eggs over here. And now let's go ahead and wait for it to cook us up some kibble. That was pretty embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. But don't forget your most important ingredient, guys. We're going to need those eggs. Now, I do have eggs over here. I wanted to point out that you can use a couple of other eggs other than the ones I've shown you. You can also use feather light eggs 
and vulture eggs. But again, those aren't going to be as convenient to find here on the Crystal Isles Beach. I wanted to make it really convenient for you guys to find all of the eggs you were going to need. And all you had to do was walk right outside and tame these guys right off the beach. Really, really simple. Really, really easy. And you guys are going to have all the basic kibble that you could ask for. Let's go ahead and see if this is ready yet. Bingo. Here we go. The exact recipe is going to be 10 armor berries, one cooked meat, cooked fish, or cooked meat jerky, one extra small egg, as I clearly forgot, five pieces of fiber, five mejo berries, 10 tinto berries, and one water skin for each single piece of basic kibble. I'm going to go ahead and do a few more rounds of this and bring you back and show you when we have a good bit of basic kibble ready to tame with. And as you can see, guys, we have a quick 32 kibble right down there on the hot bar. And I could literally just go out right now and tame up some max level parasaurs, as many as I can handle. So now that you guys have too much basic kibble, what can you even tame it with? Well, this is going to be good for your basic tames, guys. Your dodos, your dillos, your penguins, a couple of mesopithecuses if you want. The fiamias and the parasaurs are going to prefer this kibble for their taming. Personally, I look at it as a really good way to get a nice pack of strong dillos going for early game protection. And how about a max level parasaur to hang out with while you're noobing it up on the beach? So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you do not miss out on the next kibble video coming your way. I'm going to be doing the simple kibble video coming out in the next couple of days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.